Hello, here is Bibi Walker. I hope you are doing well. We are in the, you know, virus epidemic, pandemic stuff. But today I will show you a great tip from my new purchase, which is Kawaii K KDP 110. And I figured it out by myself. And the question is, and this movie is about how to connect this Bluetooth MIDI uh, to work with the Android phone because uh, the Kawaii gives you an app for iOS, for iPad and so on, but for Android you need to make some tips and tricks to use uh, a lot of applications that uses MIDI like Synthesia, GarageBand and so on. So today I will show you how to prepare this. First thing is to enable Bluetooth. To enable Bluetooth you need to press and hold Metrum and to, you know, trigger the settings you need to press the sound select in metrum and these uh, a sharp five which will be this is seventh octave sixth fifth octave this will be this key so you need to press those two in here and this key and hold and if you do this uh, you know the bluetooth will start working <clears throat> but this is not the end this is not the end because most of these apps in uh, you know uh, in uh, Google Shop uh, requires um, USB connection, but fortunately there is a app called MIDI Bluetooth. I will try to find it and show you which which app is necessary. And this is this app. It's called MIDI Bluetooth Connect from Rockerlay. And if you start it, it will looks like this. And if you press the Bluetooth scan, it will start scanning from the for the devices, new devices. I hope it will find my device. Uh, if not, we will make a pairing again. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It should shows you the KDP. 110 and now it's you know paired which means you are ready to use another app but you need to remember that if you kill all the apps so you need to press the button uh, to go into background and don't you know mm, don't uh, disable the the phone don't reset it reboot because if you do this you need to again again uh, uh, make this pairing and now it's the app called Synthesia Synthesia which is you know uh, pretty useful I, I am using this free version uh, and it works actually but let's go to settings to check what's going on up here uh, to music input you need to select this KDP 110 and select it uh, to select all the keyboard because this is very this is very important to, you know, 88 keys all will be in input. And also, if you want to hear some music, some samples, you need to enable the output using the KDP. Uh, and here I select everything, but this local, prevent local notes, uh, it gives you this, you know, echo. I mean, if you send into input and it goes back to output, you will hear the same note twice. So enable it to prevent this echo. And what's, what can we do now? Of course, we can use a free play, which is great. You can play train chords, you're pressing chord and it shows you which chord you are playing, very cool. But I'm not hearing uh, the output, so let's go again. Why we are not hearing this? Um, okay, uh, maybe try to... Not working, sorry, let me check what's going on. 
I don't know why it stopped working, so I reset the device and I will try to make a pairing and everything from scratch. So I have pressed those two buttons. Now I will install this Bluetooth connector and try to make a Bluetooth scan and it finds the KDP. So I connect. If I connect, I just press to go back to background and run the Synthesia again. And let's, let's look if it's working now. Uh, free play. Nothing works. Now go to settings. Uh, build in a MIDI driver. Everything we need to select. Use input from this device. Turn off. Turn on maybe. Believe me or not, a few seconds ago everything was working great. So I'm very wondering. And now input is working. As you can see now I'm playing here and it goes like input so you can use it to practice. But also I would like to make it work as a output. You know, prevent local nodes, I will enable it. Go back, go back, play a song. Canon in D and now it's working. So sometimes you just need to, you know, I don't know, just enable, disable and it works. So if you if you are working now uh, multi B directional, uh, you can use it uh, as a play a song. Here is some, you know, songs, some midis that I was, I am putting in here, like uh, Star Wars, Kawa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's enough. You know, it, it's a new stuff. Of course, I will make a, you know, a detailed video about this Kawaii KDP 110. But in this video, I only want to show you how to set up this. So I will set it again. You need to take a look at this quick operation guide. Press those two buttons. Press G uh, A sharp. Five, to enable Bluetooth, then you need to go to this app. I will put all the links into the description so you will be able to find it. And it perfectly, I mean, not super perfectly, but it works. And another app, of course, not this one, but uh, this was the first, you know, take from this uh, Google shop, whatever. And into settings, you need to enable the whole 88 keys by pressing those on the keyboard and everything local off. And here is also important information. You're using this Android M MIDI uh, as the device. Um, and then if we have the play a song, so if you press it, you can of, of course play, browse the folders. Here's some built-in songs. Uh, where is this Canon in D? And you play continue and you get this, uh, you know, song, notes and, and now the kawaii is playing. of course increase the tempo this is all of course MIDI so you can navigate through the song but for me very interesting and nice feature uh, is this free play unfortunately it's limited but if you play it 
shows you the chord that you're actually playing. And the interesting thing, it's B directional, so you can press it here on this virtual keyboard. And you will be making the sound, uh, you know, sent out from the device into Kawaii player. So I think it's a great feature. And as you can see, the, the limitation counter is counting down. And when it stops, of course, they show you the message that you need to buy a full version. However, this video is only to show you the ability to connect by Bluetooth using this Kawaii KDP 110. I hope you enjoy it. So see you later and more videos are coming soon. It was BB Walker. Good luck.